Hello, my name is uh, Abdullah Salam, uh, and I'm head of uh, discipline of pharmacology at the University of Adelaide. I teach medical and science students about drugs of abuse. Some of the topics I teach and some of the questions I'm trying to answer through my research are which drugs are used for non-medical purposes, how are the drugs used, and how do they affect the brain? What types of health problems arise from drug use? What is drug dependence and why does it develop? And how can the health problems be addressed? In this presentation, uh, I'll show the different classes of drugs of abuse, identify which drugs are the most widely used in the world, and look at what kind of effects they have and why. We'll briefly look at how drugs affect the brain by disrupting normal neurotransmission and how the long-term exposure to drugs changes neurotransmission. Some of the terms I'm going to use during this presentation may be new to you. Please use additional resources to review these terms. So let's look at the different drug classes. There are several ways to classify them, but we'll keep it simple here. We can group them as Opioids such as heroin and morphine, stimulants such as methamphetamine, cocaine, MDMA or ecstasy, nicotine and caffeine, cannabis, sedatives such as alcohol, benzodiazepines, GHB or fancy, hallucinogens such as LSD, ketamine, and others such as inhalants, solvents, and petrol. The top five in most countries are alcohol, nicotine, cannabis, stimulants, and opioids. Looking at few locations, uh, we see that there are differences in everyday use of these drugs. There are cultural reasons for these differences, but availability of drugs and price of drugs affect this greatly. As stats indicate, use of legal drugs such as caffeine, nicotine, and alcohol is very widespread while most illegal drugs tend to be used by a very small proportion of the population. The chance that someone will develop an addiction to these drugs varies greatly based on how the drug affects the brain. It is important to note that illegal drugs are not necessarily the most addictive. 